What choice do you have? What happens if you don't deal with the grief? I don't understand. Are you going to kill yourself? Drink yourself into depression? Ruin your own life? You have no choice. You're on a train track. You can either change the direction of the train that goes off a cliff, or you can keep it on the track. Time is going to still keep going on, and you are going to be sad. So are you going to be a sad winner, or are you going to be a sad loser? And this is one of the things where I really disagree with a lot of pickup coaching. Mm -hmm. I don't try and convince girls to have sex with me. I will only have sex with a woman who genuinely is excited and really wants to sleep with me. I if I take a, if yeah. I take a girl home at the end of the night and she's 50-50 and there's a way I probably could talk her into it that I don't even try. You kick her out. I will only sleep with women who really want to sleep with me and Facts. I do, and I do that for two reasons. One it protects you from all the bullshit of me yeah, too. Yeah. And two because I don't want my soul stained with a negative exchange of energy. Do mm. you understand? If if, if if I only have sex with women who are absolutely elated at the idea of having sex with me. That gives me an energy about me as a man which makes me more attractive to women in the future. I believe in that, right? Every time I'm with a woman in bed, she can't fucking wait. Yep. And that gives me a power that I can, I possess, that I exude. I know this sounds airy fair. No, no. I remember walking to Sixth Form College, I was 16 or 17 with my four friends and a Ferrari burnt past us. I said to my, my boys, man, how'd that guy get that car? And they're like, don't know. I was like, doesn't that annoy you? Like, why would it annoy me? Because we're going to school. Our parents are on council estates. We're, we're trying to scrape 20 pounds a week to eat. This dude has 400 grand for a car. Doesn't that aggravate you? Doesn't that show you that there's something about the world you do not understand? You're missing something. And they're all like, not really. And they're all the dudes who are right now at home, nine to five. Da -da -da. I was never that guy. I was pissed off for weeks because I saw some dude in his Ferrari. So now when I push my Ferrari, I'm like, this is the full circle. This is the universe giving me what I've always been manifesting. Because I don't believe in depression, I cannot become depressed. Bam. No matter what the worst thing that could possibly happen to me on earth, I will feel sad, but I will recover and I will not become depressed because I don't believe in depression. If you're in an old haunted house, haunted house, right? You have two people and two haunted houses. One believes in ghosts and one doesn't. You hear some noise in the night. The wind blows, right? The man who believes in ghosts is like, oh no, a ghost. Now he's scared. Right? He wants an exorcist, he can't sleep, he's scared about ghosts, he's paranoid, did a the guy who doesn't believe in ghosts goes wind, whatever, he goes back to sleep. Do you understand that it's the belief that gives it power? Right. If you don't believe in ghosts, the ghost can't hurt you. If you don't believe in depression, you can't become depressed. And I refuse to believe in something that's gonna weaken me. Why would I believe in something that's gonna weaken my ability to deal with problems in life? You men out here don't even deserve happiness. You come to me talking about happiness you don't deserve. And you know you don't deserve it because you're a coward and you're lazy and you're weak. You don't deserve happiness. It's good you're unhappy. That's your own mind telling you you need to do more. Because if you were genuinely, genuinely making an impact on the world and exerting your entire masculine force out into the universe, if you were genuinely doing that, you'd find happiness. This whole independent woman narrative, etc. It's not just about their job, it's about their whole worldview. If I'm on a date with a girl and she's she's trying to sound independent, but I know this guy, I know that guy, that <laughs> oh yeah, my network, and then I was out with this guy. It's like, please, shut up. You're talking about dudes and shit. Yeah. To me, it's like, I wish you just sat at home and nobody knew you. Speed is extremely important. Speed defies gravity. How does a plane fly through the air and defy gravity? Speed. It's moving too fast to fall. If you're always attacking life, if you're always doing things, if you're always making more money, if you're always traveling the world, doing this, doing that, new car, if you're always doing things all the time, unhappiness can't catch you. Now, I don't believe that most people are stupid, and I don't believe that most people are lazy. If I were to say to you at home, here's how you can make $1,000 an hour, most of you would do long 10-hour days and make yeah. $10,000 a day. You just don't know how to do it, but you would do it if, if I showed you how. And I don't believe that most of you are so stupid that if I showed you how, you wouldn't be able to do it. But the reason people don't have money in the modern age is that they're remarkably arrogant. So when someone like me says, I've got Hustlers University, I'm a multimillionaire, I have 18 other multimillionaires, and we teach you how to make money, they sit there and go, mmm. Well, you know, I could do it myself. But if you could do it yourself, you'd have already done it. If you knew better, you'd do better. I learned from people. I had a very big influences and mentors. Yeah, and we learned. You gotta learn from other people. Anyone who's gonna still be poor in the modern day and age, it's just too arrogant. How are you gonna be a full grown man and not be a millionaire? It's amazing to me how little work the majority of people out here are doing. Like, you're a full grown man living in a transitionary period of, of humanity where the entire financial system is broken, trillions of dollars are created from the sky, and you don't have a single million? You don't have one? 
They're all, they're everywhere. Like, how you be a full grown man and not be a millionaire? Like, are you dumb? Some men are still remarkably lazy. Well, then you're gonna live the reality that you've painted. You made your bed and you're gonna live in it. That there's nothing else we can do for you. That's the reality of the world. You need to level up as a man. If any man who's watching this, it's not just money. It's not just being in shape. It's everything. It's life experience. It's pizzazz. It's having that famoose. It's the ability to tell a story. It's everything. That's the reality of the game. The reality of the game is if the guy has choices, he's going to consider those choices. A man can be head over heels in love. I can love you with all my heart. I can be ready to die for you, take a bullet for you. But I'll still fuck that bitch. Yeah. The idea of how men and women work in the West is completely different to most places. Let me tell you what happens if you go to Russia and you find a, a hot, beautiful woman with a big mafia voice. Do you think that dude is loyal to her? No, of course not. You know what he says? I take care of her. She drives a Bentley. She has my children. I know she's looked after. She doesn't hassle me if I go play games with stupid hoes because I come back to her. And she's like, okay, cool. Well, he takes care of me. It's done. That's how it's done in 99% of the world besides the USA. If you think you're going to find a man with options who's going to genuinely, genuinely they never ever consider those options ever then he's just a low value dude i don't want to get political but trump is a guy who says what he means and means what he says and even if you don't agree with what he's saying i respect a man who says what he means and means what he says mm -hmm. it's better than most politicians who say something and mean something else yep. yeah right i don't like snakes right, the reason fighting so hard is because it's you know, the only thing in the world where you have to reprogram your body's natural inclination so if you take someone and teach them how to run, even though they don't know the technique to be the best sprinter, they already know basically how to run. You already basically know how to swim. You know how to like basically do it. But the human instinct on how to fight is actually completely wrong. You put your head up to look big. You swing low to get more power. Like everything you do, you have to reprogram your base instinct. There's a magical power amongst men. And it's, it's a magical power which has been forgotten and lost. When you put enough men in the same room, there's a transference of energy that makes us feel invincible. I say all the time, your friends should bring out the worst in you. And when I say the worst, I mean, you know, when you're with your boys and you're loud, and you feel aggressive and you're about it and you'll talk to that bitch. Who cares if she says no? They bring out the worst in you because you don't give a fuck anymore. Because what used to happen evolutionarily is when large groups of men got together, you charged at the enemy. That's what you did. You ran at the spears. Even in World War I, World War II, they ran at machine guns screaming over the trenches. When men get together, there's a magical force that makes us feel brave, makes us feel powerful. So you should be around other men that make you feel that way. We do live in a video game. Because in a video game, you're going to go through trial and tribulation. You're going to struggle to upgrade your character. And the reason you upgrade your character is when you get more stats, you can complete more difficult levels within the game. Life is exactly the same. The levels never end, but as you become better, you stand a better chance of completing them. Think about the money! And then if you do that every single time you spend money on anything, you're gonna end up realizing there's tons of gaps. There's gaps in the market everywhere. You'll start to sit there and go, you know what? I could open up a coffee shop right next door to this fucking coffee shop. Change this, this, and this, and murder this mm. Because But people don't think about it. People just give their money away all day, and it never even crosses their mind about how they were convinced to give their money away. Yeah. You know? Because if you want to get rich, you're not the Federal Reserve. You can't create money from the sky. You need to convince other people to give you their money. You know, you got to take the risk. you got to be that guy. And you also have to understand that failure really, in many cases, isn't going to kill you. There are certain scenarios where it will, but in the scenarios where it won't, you need to have more bravery. A lot of people out here are talking about, oh, you know, I'm worried if I move to... What the worst happens if you move somewhere? You move home. Like, what's the problem? If you're 80% in lots of different areas, they can all work together and they can almost amplify each other. So, hey, you can be smart and be a complete dork, or you can be 10% less smart than that dork, but you're also a G physically and socially. That's far better than just being smart.